Since the early days of communication satellites, the essential task has been to relay a message. Satellites are used whenever you want to send a signal across a distance of more than a few hundred kilometers. It's simpler and more cost effective than laying a cable. It provides more bandwidth and it can cover greater distances than an aerial. In fact, a satellite functions like a very high aerial, a 36,000 kilometer high aerial. The early satellites were just like giant reflectors. A signal came along, sent out from transmitter, say, in London, and would go out into space like ripples in a pond, getting weaker as it went up. At 36,000 kilometers, and by now quite faint, it would bounce back to Earth off the satellite's antenna. Back on Earth, it would be picked up by a receiver, where some electronics would amplify the signal before sending it on. It wasn't long before this passive mirror technology gave way to the notion of a transponder. That is, the satellite picks up a signal, then, powered by large solar panels that produce electricity, amplifies the signal and sends it back down again. The entire trip for a signal from start to finish is still so quick that it makes telephony, instant data communication and live TV coverage of an event around the globe possible. Because the satellite is amplifying the signal, you get beautifully clean reception anywhere under the huge area of a satellite footprint, while the size of the dishes that send and pick up the signal can be much reduced. Small enough, in fact, to put on an ordinary domestic roof. This is what we mean by direct-to-home transmission. It can also be put on a car or even in a suitcase. This is what allows it to be used by emergency services and by journalists working in remote locations.